Alright, so this is going to be a part one and part two video. Because my mom called me. Um... What else did I write? Okay, so yesterday I watched a long crime network about uh, it was the episode where these two women well, it was a 17 year old and her brother's girlfriend got into a fight with the girl the brother was having an affair with got into a fight. She ended up not making it. She got herself to the hospital and yeah. So I I dig true crime. Please can videos. I can watch the most graphic video, look at the most gruesome photos, and fall asleep to horror movies with people screaming in the background. It does not bother me. I think I've become, like, even more desensitized. Because on YouTube, they have the ads for places that are going through war and stuff like to send money bro if you have time to make an ad and if you have the money to make an ad because you know those ads are like thousands of dollars like i'm sorry i get it people are dying I, I don't watch the news, read the newspaper. I've told you guys that a hundred times. It's not our personal responsibility. Our money already goes to those places. And they want people who can make, who can barely make it paycheck to paycheck to help. Like, call the Kardashians. I don't know what to tell you, like, but <clears throat> our government doesn't help us. But you have people asking for handouts. And yes, I will say, I did have a GoFundMe. I raised a hundred dollars out of that GoFundMe. The other nine thousand dollars, I worked my ass off for. I worked two jobs, sometimes three jobs, at the same time. Like, that's what America is supposed to do. Like, that's what people are supposed to do. If you need money, if you want something, you work for it. Unless you don't care and you can live off the government and not feel like a piece of crap about yourself. Like me, if I stay home and I am legitimately sick, I go stir crazy. Like, it's ridiculous. I can't sit home. And if I'm legitimately sick, 
meaning like I am sick, sick, like, and can't do anything. I can't do anything. And that makes it worse. So yeah, I think I've become more desensitized to the things that are going on and what's happening. And, and I think living in New York and seeing what the governor is allowing to happen makes it worse because when we, uh, when she did bail reform, every person that she is allowed, like, that is being released, does not fall under bail reform. Bail reform is nonviolent crimes. It's stealing and walking out of the store with, you know, whatever. Get an appearance ticket, F off, have a good day. Already you're here. Because you snuck in the country. You do something. And then you're released. <laughs> like. I, I don't. I don't understand. I don't know when. When it happened where Americans in this country have less rights than illegals. But. So, my brilliance. If we have to send somebody back to their country because they committed a crime, guess what? Their country should be billed, and they should be reimbursing us. Right there. Not like we would see any of the money. But. I mean, after 9-11, no one helped us. Not really. just sucks. So, the other thing I was thinking about was how would you accidentally unalive that person? Unalive a person. A person. And that's going back to the YouTube video, the Long Crime Network video. Um, like those girls said, they didn't mean to kill her or whatever. You took your boyfriend's phone, texted the chick that he was having an affair with, that he was planning on leaving you for, as him, to get her to come to where you want it, so you could fight. Anytime you do something violent, it can end up ending a person's life. I mean, that's how... Or...
when some people walk around with those things that go boom, boom, bang, bang, or can you know, 12 o'clock at night, hanging out. That's not for protection, bro. Or letting your then I watch some of Law Network episode about the woman who went on vacation and left her baby home by itself. How was that an accident? Mm mm. You don't s starve and let something, someone live in filth on accident. So, that's what I don't get. And then... Oh, and this is the last thing I forgot about. Another thing I think about. People who eat all out all the time. I totally went from like... Dark recesses of my brain. To... People who order takeout every day. Alright. So, say you work Monday through Friday. 8 to 4. Like I do. If I were to buy breakfast and lunch every day at the coffee shop in my building, a breakfast burrito, which is what I would order, I'm going to say is $9. Okay. For lunch... It would be like 11 or 12. So that's $21 a day. $21 a day times 5 is $105. $105 can get you so much. And then, uh, there was a pizza place, like, five minutes from work. And I mean, a wrap there, for lunch, their buffalo chicken wrap is five dollars, it's the shit. Like, I would go there, and spend money on that. But not five days in a row. And these are people who make slightly more than I do. So, like, I don't understand why I go into debt, like credit card debt and stuff for fast food. Like, there is this kid in the clerk's office, literally orders Uber Eats every day. And it's the same, it's from the same place, it's from Burger King. And... Like, I don't get it. I don't understand. Every day. And Burger King isn't cheap either. And then, like, one day we had, like, somebody ordered something from McDonald's, just never came and picked it up. And it was, like, a big McDonald's order. And then, uh... Like, I don't know. It's weird. The things I think about. For no reason. Oh, I thought about that because somebody that I work with came back through with a, a takeout bag. That's why I started thinking about that. I mean, 
yes, I smoke, but check it. I went from spending 256 every two weeks, two weeks, to spending 50 something a month. And then every few months I buy filters from Amazon and I roll my own. That has saved me so much money. Like, I don't know. It's nice having the extra money. It is boring though, like to roll cigarettes. But, I mean, it's therapeutic too, because you can't do anything else. Unless you get an electronic one, which my ass would not be able to figure out. So, I just got one of those hanger crank ones. I tried, like, the single use one. My ass could not figure that thing out. I'm telling you, like,. I'm stupid when it comes to, like, this stuff. Alrighty. I guess I should go get ready for work. Talk to you guys later. Don't forget to be awesome and be you because there's nobody else in this world that is you. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here and listening to me ramble. You know I appreciate it. Um, if there's anything you want to talk about, I'll I'll put it in the description on the for, on part one. Let me know. All right. Peace. Love you guys. Have a good day. Be good.